are very respect, courage, commitment. I like what they have in their closet when they're getting ready to dress for success. Anything else? Anything else you want to add? Self-confidence. Yes, high five. You have to believe in yourself. You have to believe that you can do it no matter what and be determined. Anything else? Okay, well, you know, we're going to be talking more about uh, some different things that we can do uh, to build our character because you know good, strong character is not just how you act or a certain personality, but it's who you are even when no one is looking. It's the things you do even when no one is looking. And if you're making positive choices and doing the right things, even when no one is looking, that's good, positive, strong character. Before I go on though, I wanted to review, because I always do that, the seven steps that you will take in terms of making that decision to make the changes that you, you have to, to build good, strong character. And the seven steps are this. Number one, if you see that there is a lack or there needs to be improvement in a certain area, number one, we want to identify that there is a need. Number two is that we want to understand, we have a real mental map, an understanding of what it is that's going on and what has to be done in order to make that change towards your growth and development as a successful person, right? And then number three is this, you said it, you have to commit. Once you say, okay, I need to work, I'm not being really respectful here, but I'm respectful over here. I want to be respectful always, all the time, even when no one is looking. Then I need to commit to that. So we have identify, understand, commit, and then a plan. We have to have a plan. How am I going to do this? Day by day, class by class, hour by hour, situation by situation. How am I in school? How am I with my friends? How am I uh, at work? It has to be across the board. So you're gonna make that plan. I know that when I go into work, part of uh, being respectful is saying good afternoon to my coworkers or to my manager or to my boss. The same thing with your teachers. So we have identify, understand, commit, have a plan, and then you can say you're gonna do something all day long and even have a plan, but if you don't follow through by acting, by actually doing the plan, then it means nothing, right? So identify, understand, commit, plan, and act. That's number five. Number six, we all make mistakes. We all miss it at times. So you always have to self-assess or self-monitor. You wanna make sure that you are on track with that plan and you're following through. And so, well, you know, today I, I missed it looking over my day. Um, I, I kind of lost it and I was not respectful with that particular teacher. Know that it's not too late, that you can always go back. You can fix it. You are determined, you are persistent in following through with your plan of action. And those are the seven steps. So we have identify, understand, commit, plan, act, assess, and persist. Be determined. And I know you can do it. I have heard so many testimonies over the last, um, going into two years now, from students who are your same age and your same 